right, we are going to move on to box number two now. We finished box number one, which took a little bit longer than I thought, so that's why I'm going to separate these videos. But if you saw box number one, I'd say it was pretty good overall. I think I'm going to probably triple my money at the, at the minimum. So here's box number two. I'm going to, let's do a quick sneak peek. Got a couple phones and then some appliances, of course, but the last box had pretty good Pretty good box full of good appliances. So I'm gonna show you each item over on this chair just cause I'm running out of space. And I'll, I'll try to look up and show you the prices and then tell you what I think I can get. And I'll try to keep a running total. I'm gonna start out with some Panasonic. <laughs> I'm gonna start out with some Panasonic phones. Liquidation reason, cosmetic, okay. This one, it looks like it has three phones on it. Yeah, they, they got a couple scratches, so obviously these will be sold in used condition. So, uh, still have the rechargeable batteries, which is good. And then we got the, all the different bases for them. So I wanna look these up real quick, because I have no idea. Not the greatest, which I didn't expect phones to be. So we're looking at maybe $30 for a set of three, if everything's up and running. So not a big, not a big uh, money maker. I'd say if I'm lucky after fees, I'll get 30 bucks for both of them total. Next we have a Presto knife sharpener. Can't imagine this one's much, but let's take a look. So this is another cheap, cheap item. Might get 10 bucks for it if I'm lucky. Another AI cook. These are about $50 new. It says food stains. So it's been used, I'm sure. It's another kind of cheaper product. I like to sell things quickly, so if I can get $20 for this, I'd be happy. Panasonic phone system that has too many scratches. This actually looks like it might be a good one. I've noticed the ones with the big screens on the actual, you know, tied in phone line. All right, yep, definitely better than the last two. Looking at. 53 plus 20 shipping. Oh, these are over 100. Let's see if any of this sold. 53 and 20 did sell. 80 bucks refurbished. 153 new, wow. So not bad. I'd say 60 to 70. If it sells for that and works, I'll probably clear about 50 bucks after shipping. Automatic soy milk maker and coffee grinder. Yeah, that's an odd one. Product has dent on side, but does it work? I have zero clue what this could be worth. Not a freaking clue. Soya Bella. Okay, that's nice. 65, 69, both sold, pre-owned. Just depends on how big that dent is. Might as well check real quick. It's just a, right there. Can you even see that on camera? It's a tiny dent. So that's good. I don't think too many people are gonna care about a tiny dent when you're selling something used. So if I can get 30, 40 bucks for this, sold. Don't know yet. Uh, next we have a Nutribullet. I sold these in the past and they, they were pretty good to me. A lot of these you can sell just the cups for about eight to ten dollars a pack on eBay. Not as much as I thought, 25 but still not bad. 32, 29. So if the base works and I sell it for 30, probably get 15 bucks after after everything. Here's a Black & Decker P3 
pivot back. As many as many scratches or something. That's a weird looking back here. It works, that's good. Okay, so this thing just pivots any <laughs> any angle you want it to. Weird. Good suction. That has the charging base, so that's a, that's actually good. A good find. I'm not sure what it's worth. Brand new, of course it's not new, but brand new is eighty to hundred bucks. Those are parts only. So I'd say probably 40 bucks because it has the base and everything and it does work. So again, $25 after, after fees and shipping most likely. So I'm happy with that. And that's not a good sign. The bottom side is broke and has holes in it. <laughs> now we have two. Vacuum doesn't work. It doesn't work. I've heard that before. One pallet before I got two items that said will not connect to Wi Fi, won't power on, and they're all brand new and sealed, still factory sealed. So, how would they possibly know if something's broken if it's factory sealed? That is cheap. Seal a meal. Yeah, this is a El Cheapo. Sold items. So brand new, they're about 60. Open boxes, not much, 20 to 30. 39 new, so yeah, this would be probably a flea market item. Probably put $10 on them and they probably sell really quick. Stuff sells good at flea markets. Boy. Uh, I'm gonna go quicker through these videos because it's taking a while, but uh, 30 bucks if it works. Nicely repackaged, huh? And it says crap. It's a good chance this is going in the trash. I'll have to try it out, and if, if it works, you know, I'll just take a picture of that little tiny crack, if that's what you want to call it, and uh, put that in the description, but... Looking at the box and the contents, I can't imagine this thing's very expensive at all. What do you say we find out? 116 new to 64 new, so. Like I said, I'll test it out. If it works, I'll disclose the little crack and maybe throw it on there for $40 maybe. Never heard of this brand as a slow juicer. I think probably wrong here. Gross. <laughs> slow juicers, I believe, are brand new. We're looking at not much, 50 to 90, depending on who buys it. So once again, I'm just going to throw out a number at $20, $20 maybe. Oh, yeah, I see that's damaged. Dang. I don't even think with that big of a piece of damage. I bet you that's not even. I mean, it probably still works perfectly fine, but yeah, I don't think someone's going to want that. I'm gonna look this up really quick though. And it might be worth a little bit for parts, possibly. Is I mean we're looking at I mean I don't even know what to do with this. I might just 
pitch it or sell it for like $20 and hope somebody wants to bid on it for parts maybe. I almost guarantee it's going to work fine. It's just damaged. I don't know. I don't know about this one. It might just be trash. It'll probably just be trash to be honest. That is it for the first two boxes. The first one absolutely destroyed the second. The second one was not that impressive. I'll be completely honest. I, I, I probably get my money back in a little bit more. There was really nothing in there that was really good. So that's kind of a shame. The next box I have, I'll show you the iPod touches that I found in them. Just right, sitting right on the top. There's five of them. And then I'll tell you why that's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. All right, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, throw it down in the comments and I'll answer. And I try to answer all the questions. And uh, y'all have an awesome day. See ya.